Very good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's isolation session. Uh, before we start, risk warning as usual. Uh, trading is risky. You've probably found that out by now. Uh, in particular, margin-based products. Um, these signals aren't personal recommendations. Therefore, as a retail client, you don't get the normal protections you may expect. And ultimately, Synergy is authorised and regulated by the FCA. Right, let's start. So we have the beginning of the month today, the end of the month, last month. I know that sounds obvious, but they are quite uh, momentous occasions for the market makers, large institutions to do their business. Typically, I don't trade if I can avoid it these sort of times. Um, they are uncertain moments and you're more likely to lose than win there. And as you can see, the volatility has been pretty, pretty amazing the past few days. So let's start. What have we got to start us off with? We have USD CAD. So USD CAD, we had the Fed Reserve yesterday. Um, they spoke about holding interest rates where they are. Forward guidance, you know, they're still keeping an eye out ultimately. So it said the dollar softer, and we have still in the same position, cycle one, cycle two. Where's this going to head now? Um, well, the most likely destination is back to this low. We did make three up. We completed the pattern. We're coming off in a one and a two so far. So we'll keep an eye on that. CHFJPY, I'm not touching it. It's a peak pass. Enter DJPY breaking down at the peak. The danger was one, two, and three's already been done. One, two, three to the high. However, it's not something that we're currently active in. EuroCAD. Level one higher, it's in the first zone of consolidation. We're a little bit making lower lows and lower highs, that's for sure, pass for now. AUD JPY, that's a peak and coming off, one, two peak. We have a short in that, or a short or a long. Either way, we're uh, we're not in them at the moment. GBP CHF, this is a level one, level two, and then we're expecting higher prices. This is tough action here. Difficult to know what GBP CHF wants to do. And because of that, I'm not going to trade it. There's no point, but you can see one, two, three up. AED NZD, we had this yesterday, extended lower. Um, extended lower. I'm not sure if people got out before the news warning or not, but I think it did go on to hit the stop loss. So uh, that is disappointing. The only thing I can say about it is this particular pattern wasn't in line with the market cycle. It was in isolation and we can see A, B equals C, D and we extended lower. So we have a variation, this whole leg lower here. We have a one, two, three makes one, two, three. Counter. The trend is lower on this. It's a huge level one consolidation. Trade should be off the 200 EMA. So I have actually missed entries on this guy. There's quite a few entries to, to have considered. Around the 200, nothing really here. It's a bit too choppy, but it is here really when it's starting to make some sort of structure. When it starts to make the structure is the time for the EMA. It's quite a difficult discipline to start understanding though on this single webinar. USD CHF completed the ABCD. Uh, it's creating a second leg. Now, this is still looking bullish for me. This is still cycle one, cycle two, ABCD moved away. Second leg retest. I'm looking forward to seeing how this one wants to pan out. I'm going to keep it up. Um, we have entered the USD really tricky still we have a humongous gartley pattern which is a buy a b c d buy however at the same time this is cycle one up potentially so you do have cycle one up and the gartley that's two pretty big big things um you have a one two three to the high and is this a one two three or is this a one two and three to come difficult to know not worth risking too much at stake Cat JPY coming off ABCD. We have this as a one, two, three to the high. Cat CHF, we were in this yesterday. I like it a lot. A huge ABCD pattern. Um, cycle one, cycle two, trap false into a reel. Looks like something that can go higher. Obviously, we have this humongous 
ABCD structure where we're completely at D point at the moment. What's GBP AUD doing? GBP AUD reaching higher. One, two, three up, consolidate, moving away. Level two consolidation into level three trend. GBP USD, well, I mean, this is one that's very, very difficult to have aligned yourself to because fair enough, we've got the pattern on the way down. On the way up, we have level one. So we know we're in level one higher. But for me, it hasn't validated any of my entry requirements. I'll be looking for trades off the 200 hasn't given me anything off the 200. If anything, we're chopping around the 800. I can see one, two, three to the high consolidation, but I'm not seeing anything in that consolidation. So pass for now. <laughs> Euro AUD, beautiful, beautiful thing. Aggressive move away. Gart lead buy pattern in consolidation too. You can't ask for more than that. Euro CHF, le legendary short ABCD pattern. Shorting up here, giving it all back to us. That's two weeks of drop. We know what next week holds. AUD CAD coming down in threes. One, two, three. This is something we're going to take a close look at. We believe that this is the first zone of consolidation and that form of consolidation is in a zigzag, up, down and move away rather than up, consolidate, move away. Last couple now. So there hasn't been anything obvious set up for even tomorrow. Euro GBP, this is something I've got a close eye on. Look at that ABCD, it's staring at you in the face. A, B, C, D. Doesn't get better than that. Gold, moving away, moving away. Gold's moving away on the fact that the US have agreed to bomb Iraq and Syria. War always goes up in these environments. Beautiful entries, notice the targeted entries off the uh, 50, off the 50. So that's a real stunning piece of work, but obviously no trade. We were short of it, made our money and moved away. Now, this is the conundrum pair. NZD, USD and AUD, USD, really tricky because we know where we are. We're in the second zone of consolidation lower. We're seeing lower lows and lower highs. And that's still the case. And then we're starting to see here. I mean, there's so much weight of water coming down, if you'd like to imagine it like that. What I do know from my experience is one, two, three equals consolidation. We've seen one, two, three and consolidation. It's just now whether it's going to continue. The extra detail when you get your detective's hat on is we've seen three days of drop. So we've seen drop, 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 rise. And I expect tomorrow to be a drop. I do expect that to be a drop. It's quite a complicated trade, though, to take. But we shall see. GBP, JPY, peak, pass, ignore. Euro NZD trying to get into this much like Euro AUD expecting higher prices out of cycle two. Nice harmonics, nice ABCD. Euro USD showing me some signs, certainly with that candle. Higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low within consolidation one off the targeted entry. This is one that I can say I missed a blind entry into, as in just taking it off the EMA. That would be a schoolboy going on well wow. it's not letting me come on yay so targeted entry off the 200 moving away one two three this is hot property for tomorrow this is a real hot one um it showed me no ability to get into it there's no way of getting into it anyway we're at the 800 but i love it for tomorrow euro jpy hit up stop uh, it hits it here. I'll stop here. Our profit target at last. So we've got 250 pips for a TP1 there, and it's given it to us in threes. ADCHF uh, crumbling still. And if you can go past all these previous videos and see where I highlighted weakness expected in this particular one, USDJPY <clears throat> coming off like the rest. And there we have it, uh, folks. If you like this content, please do go to my Melon Trade personal YouTube channel where you'll find lots of videos on harmonic patterns and market cycles. Otherwise, I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching. Cheers.